Here I have a model with two text areas, one for the car title and another one for the description. It would be nice if these fields would auto-resize to fit the content and as we type something in, because currently it just scrolls down. Now, there is a way to do this using vanilla JavaScript, but in this video I'd like to use a more battle-tested library, which is Autosize. I found out about Autosize by browsing through the GitLab repository. If you didn't know, GitLab is open source, which means you can look over how they structure their code, what libraries they are using, and so on. And they even use Vue, which is nice. Anyway, let's get started. I'll open my terminal and install Autosize using npm. And then I'll go to Resources, JS Components, and create a new file called Text Area Autosize. View. Here we'll have script setup and a template. And for now, I'll just write in some gibberish. Let's go back to our model and import the new component. Scroll down here and do vmodel form.title. And here it is. Now let's go back, and the first thing we're going to do is define the props. So we'll do const props equals define props, and since we are using vmodel, we'll have model value, which will be a string. Next up, we can go to our template, add the text area element, remove all the attributes, and output the model value. Here it is. However, if I type something in, the value is not passed to the parent, so we still have card1 here. To fix that, we need to add an input event listener to our text area element and emit an update model value event with the new value of the text area. So here we'll do input equals emit update column model value. And to get the new value of the text area, we can do event.target.value. But of course, for this to work, we'll need access to the emit function. So here we'll do const emit equals define emits. And here we need to pass an array with all the events our component emits. So we'll only have update model value. And now if I go in the browser and type something in, the value is updated. Let's go ahead and grab the tail in CSS classes and paste them in. And now, to make use of the autosize library, we'll need the template reference. So here we'll do ref equals, let's say, el from element. And here we'll do const el equals ref. And let's import ref from view. And now, all we need to do is call autosize and pass it el.value. Let's import autosize. Refresh and it didn't work. The reason it didn't work is that at the moment of execution, this el.value is undefined because our text area is not rendered yet. So what we need to do is grab this and place it inside an unmounted hook. Refresh, and here it is. But we're not done yet. What we also need to do is make sure we remove the auto size when the component is unmounted. But we cannot do that inside the on unmounted hook, because at that point the text area is gone. A better place to put it is on before unmount. So before the component unmounts, we'll call auto size dot destroy and pass it our el dot value. Let's go ahead and inline these. I'll save, refresh, here's our title, which auto resizes, and let's also use it for the description. I'll go inside the model, and we'll grab everything here, paste it in, and here, instead of the text area element, we'll use the text area auto size component, save, refresh, and here it is. The text area resizes to fit the initial content 
and it also does that when we type something in. And that was it. Next time we need a text area that auto sizes, we'll just use the text area auto size component and we're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.